Hi, welcome guys. to my podcast. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you for Very coming to today. Me. So, can you introduce yourself to our friends who are watching us? Who are you? What's your name? How old are you? Where are you from? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Julia Roca. Yeah. Kind of like Julia, but it's pronounced Julia. Julia. I'm um, half Colombian, half Californian. A yeah. Un mezcla, a yeah. little mix. Yeah. Um, I have been traveling around the world for the last almost two years now. Wow. Through Asia and finally have landed in beautiful Baja California Sur in yep. Mexico. Yep. Where I've How is my flower? You. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel it's going to fall. Ah, uh, it looks yeah. like it's staying. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it works with your colors. Yeah. It makes That's happy. my favorite it's tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, everything works. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I am 34 years, no, 35. I just turned 35 like two weeks ago. <laughs> no, she didn't. You came to my birthday. I think it was yes. like the second we day we had her birthday a lot. We had all the costumes. I yeah. decided to bring down a giant duffel of costumes. You know, it, it was my, my first time to try. Dress I was like, yeah, I would like feel? to try more. Yes. It's so fun. Yeah, it it's is. So fun. Yeah. yeah, it transforms you. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 And it's like a personality test as well. It's like, who picks what costume and, yeah. and what kind of personality it brings out of them. Like how did were... you start your journey as a traveler? How old were you then? Well, I feel that one of the biggest gifts that my family gave me yeah. was travel. Yeah. So my whole family from both my mom's side and my dad's side, they're all Colombian. Yeah. But um, things got a bit hard there. And yeah. so a lot of my aunts and uncles, including my parents, left and went yeah. all over the world yeah and so i was lucky enough to uh, you know live in a time where things were more affordable yeah and we were able to go travel and yeah. we had homes to stay in and family to take care of us and yeah we had these massive reunions yeah so that's what really like initiated my bug for yeah. traveling wow and then i did a like I, I do like a lot of solo camping all through california yeah and then um did a like solo backpack trip in mm. the middle of college all through Europe and then finally you know I started working and was working this high stress big job in Los Angeles and um, had some health issues and finally said you know what enough is enough I'm going to sell all of my things and move and focus on healing my body and my brain. How and old uh, were you then I guess? I was 33. Oh yeah yeah. So you started your journey in 33. I started my journey, I would like to say, like a long time ago, but this, yeah. this, this latest chapter oh, yeah, started yeah. when I was 33. It changed your life. Exactly. Completely. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. 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 Yes. I kind of threw away everything in the United States and I uh, started new. Yeah. yeah. So what was the reason for traveling? A number of different reasons. Yeah. Yes. What was the main thing? I would say the main thing was um, to allow myself the opportunity to heal hmm. i have you know some chronic illnesses yeah um both like physical and mental that just weren't weren't being able to get completely you know under control yeah um and living in the united states is very hard and it's very expensive to access medical care yeah and so that was kind of my main push that and just to I love learning new things. Yeah. And wow. it's so great when you get to learn from people that are completely different from you. Yeah. So yeah. There, you always find these like little, you know, threads that are so similar between different cultures and that just yeah. really makes So me what happy. inspired you to travel? I would say between health and just like my journey of like wanting to learn and adventure and, and grow. Yeah. And how did you plan or and choose your first destination? Great question. <laughs> Great question. Um, I had yeah, never been to I Asia. know what you know about Ahmed. <laughs> exactly. I had never been to Asia before. Yeah. And I had so many people come back yeah. having the most amazing trips. Yeah. And finally, I decided, okay, I'm going to go and, and I'm going to. Someone told me, if you're going to leave in December or January, you have to go to the north of Thailand. Yeah. And gave me all sorts of recommendations and connections with friends. And yeah. it had, you know, a mix of like the dance, the really good food, the cheap living, yeah. the beautiful nature that yeah. I was really craving. And that's how I landed there. And yeah. then from there, I just kind of let the wind take me. 
wherever opportunities arose. Yeah. I went to the south of, of Thailand. I met my dad in Vietnam for a yeah. motorcycle trip. Yeah. I cut over to Indonesia to meet a friend, yeah. went back to Thailand, yeah. went back to Indonesia, Singapore, wow. Malaysia. And yeah. it just kind of, um, it's just, it's so accessible to travel yeah. through Asia that yeah. I, I felt very grateful. Like I, I would stay a place for at least one month, if not two, maybe three, Yeah. Um, which made rent a lot more. Yeah reasonably priced i think i paid max like 170 dollars a month yeah for beautiful places to stay so yeah. highly recommend yeah. <laughs> what helped you cope with being out of your comfort zone Oof, good question yeah because traveling is getting out of your comfort zone absolutely right? absolutely and there's a yeah. lot of stressors if, yeah if it's you know you not knowing the language the stress of travel itself yeah exactly. you get sick you get lonely you know, you want community or you want home. Yeah. I think for me, the biggest coping mechanism was like making sure I took time every day to kind of ground down and center myself. Yeah. So whether that be through breath work, through free diving, yeah. through yoga, yeah. through some somatic exercises, like how do I calm my nervous system? Yeah. And then a mix between like finding enough time to rest, but also finding time to go out and explore and meet new people because that energizes me. So wow. Yeah. I think everyone's different. Yeah. So finding no, I think your, it's your different, but it's the same. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, absolutely. Absolutely. It's all good stuff. All good stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. How did you prepare yourself financially? So um, I was planning a long trip with a friend mm. to go buy a sailboat and yeah. sail it's called the coconut run wow to start in florida and go all through the caribbean and all through the islands yeah go past columbia where i'm from through yeah. the panama canal mm -hmm. but unfortunately that trip never went through and then mm -hmm. i i continued working for a year after that in a very like high paced but good paying job oh, yeah and was able to to save money that way what did you work then um, i was in advertising and in branding yeah for some big companies yeah. back in in los angeles so yeah. I, I felt very lucky to be able to have those yeah. and also i you know i've always lived pretty frugally where yeah. i don't need the nicest apartment or the nicest yeah. things i've had my truck since 2008 Ooh. like i love thrifting yeah me i too. don't i you know i in la it was great because you get to eat out to these amazing places yeah and of course there's the places that are expensive but yeah there are like the most incredible tacos just on the street that are 75 cents yeah each. i always like to eat so at the locals. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so okay any tips for people preparing for their first travel trip? So I would say... How did you prepare yourself for the first? Yes. So um, talking to people who have already been in those countries was yeah. very helpful. Yeah. Give me, it gave me a little bit more of an idea of what was in a place. Yeah. I would say pack light. Yeah. Huh? We'll always benefit from packing light. You Don't take your wardrobe with there. you. No, you can buy a new wardrobe. So much more fun and like colorful. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. So pack You already sold light. all your stuff before you yeah. travel. Yeah. Yeah. I think I left six bags back home with my dad, including yeah. one of with the, the and costumes. The same. the same. I have only six bags. <laughs> the best. Bag. Look at and us. I sold everything. Yeah. It's the best. And yeah. it, it frees you. And I feel I'm more free. So much more free. Me, like physically, everything. Exactly, everything. Like, yeah. And I'm someone who loved to hold on to things for years and years and years and years. Yeah. But, it, it, but knowing that I was going to go travel yeah. and knowing that I was going to go for a long time mm. made me feel much more at peace when it came time to depart with my things. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. I always say traveling gives us the best life adventure and valuable lessons. What was your biggest life lesson from traveling? I assume there are plenty, but let's talk about the most important one. I would say take time to talk and learn from people. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good advice. Yeah. I think there's so much like today. wealth in that. Like today. Yeah. Like it's so easy you to... You know, that's the main idea of the podcast. I love that. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I didn't yeah, It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so easy to go to a place and, and be rushed to go and do all the adventures and see all the sights. But my best times were spent in a cafe talking to strangers. Yeah. I've learned so much. Yeah. And they, it's when you're traveling, you immediately go so much deeper because you're not just talking to the same people. Yeah. You're not saying, well, what do you do for yeah. work? Yeah, you exactly. Know? That's it's, how it's I like, start traveling. What I are your values? Yeah. What excites you? Like, yeah. Where have you been? Yeah. What cool things how have you How did you, you do it? 
exactly yeah and and that's like the richness of travel yeah for me yeah any tips for people who wants to make money whilst traveling so i would say how do you manage this part right yeah i mean it it differs for each person yeah right if you have the ability to raise enough money yeah. to, to save enough money before you go it yeah. does give you this liberty to just yeah. relax and to truly start. immerse yourself yeah but um depending on your skill levels there's a, a number of different things you yeah. can teach whatever language exactly. it is you teach online or in person yeah um if you have a skill so for me i love dancing yeah and so i just started hosting like tango classes yes. and contact improvisation yeah and then slowly i got into ocean dance and water dance and, yeah. and just started offering things like that yeah um so you you never know kind of what's going to come your way and you yeah, never exactly. know you know what people I, i've had friends who've made their way through countries just by painting and doing art and selling it on the street yeah i've had people that will go and just choose a hostel and yeah. work for the hostel and they'll yeah. get free room and board yeah exactly so there's ways to do it wow um definitely yeah amazing. yeah <laughs> do you think Learning a new a new language other than your tongue uh, language helped you, big time. Yeah. Well, it was interesting because being in Asia, no one speaks Spanish. Mm. But at the same time, having comfort around different languages yeah. is very helpful. Yeah. And then also when you meet fellow travelers, um, say someone speaks Spanish, wonderful, yeah. or English, wonderful. But yeah. if someone speaks French, you we speak two languages. Yes, yeah, Spanish yeah. and English. Yeah. Yeah. But if someone Perfectly. speaks French or thank you <laughs> or yeah. Italian, I can still yeah. understand. Yeah, we can. But it, it is still some of the most beautiful moments. How did with, you learn uh, English? You, you said I learned Spanish and English at the same time. Ah, oh, wow. Growing up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. very lucky. Very yeah, lucky. you are. <laughs> yes, yes. Because I'm still struggling about improving my pronunciation and improving my like accent. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm. I'm, just I'm working hard exactly on myself. Having yeah. more conversations with people. You know, uh, talking in English in a yeah. podcast, it's get, like I'm forcing myself to get out of my comfort zone Which because it's not my uh, mother tongue. Yeah. Which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, does being bilingual help you find more work opportunities yes mm. now that i'm in you know latin america yes yeah yeah because um like here like here yeah because i'm working at a dive center i'm i'm starting my own little dance she's sitting in english so i can understand here <laughs> <laughs> Um, and also finding kind of side jobs with people that also need someone who speaks both English and Spanish is yeah. very helpful. Very helpful. So do you recommend our friends on social media to learn a new language to Absolutely. have more opportunities I mean, either for working or traveling or communication? At the very least, my yeah. favorite thing to do in Asia, there's so many different languages. Yeah. But I, I would make little note cards yeah. with just the common phrases. Yeah. And even just knowing five words exactly changes your experience yeah. entirely you get invited into homes yeah you get exactly. a certain amount of warmth because you've shown that you appreciate and respect their culture yeah yeah and they show and that and the local encourage you when you try to speak absolutely. in their language they like all oh, the help absolutely yeah so that's a beautiful thing yeah exactly. beautiful thing yeah okay okay <laughs> do you have any tips for traveling on a budget many <laughs> give us all show us all your cards <laughs> yes i think um one thing was me my biggest investment was the actual plane ticket to okay. get you know across to another place yeah but you can start small yeah if you don't have a lot of money there are work away programs where you can help farm okay in exchange for Ooh, room and did board. you do that before i have done that before Ooh. yes you can help at hostels yeah um you can you can cook at home or some yeah. places you can choose a place that's just cheap to go to so yeah thailand is cheap to go to yeah it's cheap to eat it's yeah. cheap to rent places Stay and you enjoy your time. life there you, yes there's many you countries time. you can enjoy traveling exactly on a budget exactly yeah so you, you kind of think of it, it, it kind of sounds backwards where you think, you know, you go to one place for one week. Yeah. Or you can go to a place like Thailand for one And did you enjoy month. this experience? So like, much. So much. Traveling on a budget? Because I think Absolutely. most of people, like, link 
traveling with being in a fancy luxurious hotel with open buffet living in a resort or a spa absolutely not no no because yeah. you you learn so much more when you get to be with people. exactly when you're eating the local food yeah when you're you, it, it it's a much more you learn a lot of experience, experience and talent yeah exactly. you get a lot of uh, exactly. what have you enjoyed about doing house sitting while traveling i know you are doing house sitting nowadays yes so yes. Tell us more about your experience about being a house sitter. I mean, it's pretty ideal. Yeah. Right? Um, I think it's I, I, I am a house sitter. Right, nowadays. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, just having that opportunity yeah. opens up so many doors. Yeah. And also staying in an actual home makes you feel calmer. Yeah. You, you know? know, in my country, it's a, a new concept. Yeah. And sometimes it, shock, it shocks people. So can you explain more about what does it mean being a house sitter? So... For me, being a house sitter means there is someone who has a need, yeah. whether it be taking care of their pets, whether it be taking care of their home in general, or whether plant. it be watering their yeah. plants, yeah. whatever it may be, yeah. are looking for an exchange for yeah. you to come and stay at their house while they're off traveling or working or whatever it may be, yeah. in exchange for you taking care of whatever yeah. task it is that they need. So and you so, enjoy being at home? I do. Very, I do. Feeling comfortable? I have a nice couch, a TV, yeah. a beautiful bed, a beautiful view. Like you get to find these am amazing places. Yeah. And knowing that there are options, like yeah. in trusted house sitters and and all these other programs. Yeah. Like you can sometimes you you do have different options of yeah. what you can choose. Sometimes not so much, but. And how is your relation with the homeowner? Great. Yeah. Great. I mean, Are you your friends? I've been here. I, I'm in this. I'm going to be in this house. I've been there for one and a half months. I'll be there for another four yeah. and a half months. Yeah. And she comes and goes. So there's yeah. two rooms. So I'm there mainly alone. Yeah. But she comes back, and and I got back today, and she yeah. was home. Yeah. And we cooked lunch together, and wow. we redecorated a bit together, and we yeah. listened to music together, wow. and it was just so lovely. So that's how you make friends, exactly. like a good friend. Absolutely. Yeah. And staying in someone's home, like that's that's a big step of trust and so you 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 get to go a bit deeper more quickly with yeah. that person so do you recommend it for our friends absolutely 100 percent. go <laughs> do it do it do it <laughs> have you experienced any challenges while while it's traveling absolutely how did you deal with your emotion i know we always have this emotion being oh can i do it no i can't so how did you deal with all these challenges or yeah with yes. your like we call it like uh, emotion coasters or what how the roller coaster like yeah roller coaster, roller coaster <laughs> absolutely yes so for me it's kind of a a multi-level approach yeah um i've done a lot of therapy in my past and yeah. have a lot of it's called somatic exercises so it's yeah. ways on how to regulate your nervous system yeah how to calm your body yeah because when your body is able to be calm your yeah. mind is able to be calm yeah. and you have a lot more time and space to think things clearly and solve yeah. things yeah. Um, and having that availability to calm your system down just makes life a lot easier. Yeah. So that's one. Second, it's it's just being able to call on family and friends and yeah. ask for help, ask for their advice, yeah. ask for what you need. So why did you choose being um, or why did you choose free diving? Oof. Yeah. Free diving is very somatic, talking yeah, about that's calming why. your nervous system. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you are working a lot with breath work. You are working yeah. a lot with bringing your breath into your stomach, with how to calm your mind, with yeah. how to let go, yeah. how to release tension in your body, yeah. holding your breath. Yeah. And that is, those are all individually super helpful. Yeah. And then in free diving, you put them all together and then you put them in the ocean, which yeah. is the most healing place. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's magic. Yeah, it's it magic. <laughs> yes. So whoever wants to come to Mexico, you're invited. Yeah. I <laughs> guess. Welcome. <laughs> come on over. Yes. So how many countries Whoa. did you visit and where are you planning to go next? Oof. So you have a plan Just for the next... Just in this past yeah. two years? Yeah. Let's see. Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore... Myanmar. Should I buzz until you? <laughs> yeah, I think that's six. I'm joking. Mexico, yeah, seven. Philippines, eight. Yes. I've been very lucky. Been to eight countries. Seven of those were in Asia, so it's a lot cheaper to go from country to country. Yeah. And then I came to Mexico. And did you enjoy all? So much. 
Do you of have course, any regrets? No, no, not one, not one. Yeah. Even the times where I, you know, like, I've fallen off of motorcycles, you learn I've gotten it. hurt, I've gotten really sick. Yeah. You learn from it all and yeah. it, it adds to the riches of your life and you have so many more stories and yeah. it's always yeah, it's worth good. It. You have it's more, a lot of stories to tell. Yes, yeah, exactly. I love stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are enjoying this. Exactly, already. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Finally, what is your advice for my friends on social media? who are not comfortable to take the leap and go traveling. Take a really deep breath. Already <sighs> I did. I'm still not confident to get out of my comfort zone and start traveling. How can I start, for example? You can start small. How? You can take a road trip. You can yeah. take a train somewhere. I don't, have, can... I don't have a lot of vacation or I don't have a right. lot of days. You can I have take, only two or three days. You can take two or three days. Yeah. Go north for one hour. Go yeah. south for one hour. Yeah. Slowly. My budget is limited. That's okay. Yeah. You can. There, there are so many ways you can jump on a bus. Yeah. You can jump on a train. Yeah. You can, you can ask for rides. You know, I places. have a friend. He used to, like, if he has two or three hours, he, 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 he takes the subway. I love that. Yeah. He, enjoy, that. he enjoys the view. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. And, and I think baby steps, right? Yeah, like exactly. Try little by little. You don't need to go and buy a plane ticket to Indonesia, for yeah. heaven forbid. Just yeah. go one hour away yeah. and see yeah. what you find. Yeah. And, or you can start traveling inside your country. Exactly. Because there's beauty I mean. everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. And a lot of times when you are in your country, you haven't really traveled too much out of like where you're yeah. from or where you and work. And you start or to experience live. yourself. Are you like definitely, definitely. confident or? Even you gain confidence in you yourself. You gain a lot of confidence. How did I think traveling at the beginning you? it can be very scary, absolutely, yeah. because you have to confront a lot of fears and yeah. it's, it's hard, but you can do it with others. Yeah. You can, you know, there are a lot of resources online of how to do things correctly so that you feel safe. You can yeah. make all your reservations so that yeah. you feel safe. Yeah. Whatever it is that you need to do, um, you have options and you have people to help. Yeah. How did traveling affect you or change about you? It has broadened and opened my eyes to yeah. what life can be. Yeah. That you have the power to create the life that you want to live. Even if it is the scariest thing, even if you don't have money, at the end of the day, you have the power to change. Exactly. And that gives you so much confidence. Yeah. So much confidence yeah. to go off and, and try new things. Even if you fail, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We have 100% success rate of getting through everything in life so far. Yeah. Like things are in progress. Yeah. But we're getting there, you know? Yeah. It's worth it to take some chances. Oh, so that's the main idea of the podcast meeting or interviewing successful yeah. or inspiring yeah. stories like you. And I always say the best friends you are going to make are like while you are traveling, along the way. you know? Absolutely. You know, along the way. You so, make your family. Yeah, along exactly. The way. Yes, yes. <laughs> So what is your plan for the, the future? Do you yes. have a plan? So I got really into something called ocean dance. Yep. Which has kind of stolen my heart away. Yeah. So there are a number of ways to do it. You can do it on shore. Yeah. And it's all about floating and inviting the water to yeah. be a dance partner with you. Yeah. And experiencing the water in a new way. Yeah. Experiencing yourself in a new way. Yeah. And experiencing others in a new way. Yeah. And so we can do that or down on a free diving mine. So you yeah. pull or kick yourself down to five or 10 meters and you yeah. dance as you float up. And it's just, I've never heard or experienced that before. Yeah. I learned from another Colombian in yeah. Thailand. Oh, wow. Fell in love, moved to Indonesia, met a girl who was going to start retreats, doing the same thing, asked for my help. We started running retreats. Yeah. Yeah. I came here to Mexico and started my own thing. And I'm just, yeah. it's such an amazing mix between free diving and yeah. dance and, you know, somatic nervous system healing work Yeah, that it just kind of, it worked. So I started, yeah. it's called Soul and Sea Somatics. Yeah, exactly. I will put the link. Which is below. lovely, <laughs> yeah. which has just been a dream of mine this past year. And it feels great to finally make it happen. Yeah. So traveling inspired you to find ideas for working or find Absolutely. like... It's like, my new passion, my yeah. new job, right? Yeah. I became a freedive instructor. Yeah. And I'm using that to help with, um, you know, my, my new world of ocean dance. Yes. yes <laughs> it's amazing. Yes, I'm so you. proud of you. Thank and you. you are such an 
good story to tell. I appreciate and your support. Thank you for being yeah. here today. Really, I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you of for course. your time. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Yay!